Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. Thanks for coming back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. Have a look around after the video and hit that subscribe button as I have many how-to craft tutorials. In today's video, I will be showing you step-by-step -step on how to create a drunken tic-tac-toe board game. It was really simple to create and a lot of fun to play. Hope you enjoy this DIY tutorial. Alright guys, to get started, you need to create a file. These are the files that I've already created in Design Space. They are so simple to make. There's actually two ways that you can make these. One is a little bit harder, but you would do it yourself, and the second one is a little bit of cheating. Uh, so the first way to do these is you can click on Shapes. You can click on Shapes, click on Square, and then make it smaller to represent a line. And then do, you know, four of these. Duplicate them each time and make four of them. Then make your board this way. But then you gotta, you gotta have, you kind of have to guess and figure out how wide you need them and make sure that they're uh, centered all the way, and kind of go that route. And it's a little bit harder, but this way you can say you did it yourself. Um, but there's a much easier way. So this is how you can do it if you want. Um, but I will show you a much easier way. So go into your web browser and then just type in tic-tac-toe SVG. And I'm going to click on images. All I'm really looking for is the lines. I don't want the letters. I don't want the little X's and O's. I don't want anything with this. So when I look for these, I look when I look for images, I look for ones that don't have the little square backgrounds, that don't have things on it already. I'm just looking for the SVG file. I'm also looking for to make sure that it does not have um, a watermark or say from Etsy or anything like that. I do not want to steal from anybody else. I'm just using a Google image that anybody is free to use. So let's say you like this one. It doesn't have a watermark. It's not saying buy it. So you just right click on it and then you go to save image as, and then you can change it to whatever you want. So I'm just gonna change it to tick. I know it's going in my downloads. I'm gonna save it. Then I'm gonna go back to, to design space. I'm gonna go to upload, upload images. I will browse for it. And then I know it's right here. It's under my downloads and here it is here. So I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna click simple cause it's just no colors to it. And I'm just gonna click all the white spots to make the little boxes go in the background. So that was easy. So I'm just going to continue and here it is. You want to save and cut the image. So I'm going to save that and here it is. So here's another one I did before previously, but I wanted to show you how to do it. So I have it here. I'm going to select it and then push import image. So here it is. So I said this is the cheating way. <laughs> and you know it's evenly spaced and all that rather than this. But another thing, if you did want to go this route and you had took the time and made it all centered, you want to make sure you select all of your image and push weld instead of attach because if you did attach it would uh, cut out these little lines here that are in between each piece. So this one I'm going to get rid of. I don't want to do that. I'm going to go this way of actually cheating a little bit. I'm going to make it larger so everybody can see it. And then the next step is figuring out what you want it to say. I have two different ones here. This one says three shots. This one says triple shot. Um, here we go, a triple shot, a poem it takes two. So you can do it any way you want. So the easy way to do that is just click text and then you can type whatever you want. So we'll put three shots. So a couple things here you have to realize or work with is you wanna center this, but I'm gonna work with the uh, font first. So it's already selected. I'm gonna go up to font and then I'm gonna go to system because I don't have design space, the monthly or the yearly subscription so I, um, I'm not going to pay for these. So I'm just going to click on system and here are all the free fonts that I have from design space or that I downloaded from dafont.com. If you're not familiar with dafont.com, I have a video, a few videos back showing you how to get those fonts off of dafont and put them into design space. It's really quick and easy. So going back to this, I'm just going to pick one that I like. I'm just going to do this Arial black because I want to have one that's bold. So the next thing you want to do is, um, it's not centered, so you just want to click align and center it. And another thing that I don't like is how big of a space it is here. So with it selected again, you can go to line spacing and just click the down button. 
And if that's gonna take you a while, which this one would, I'll show you an easier way. So with the selected, I'm gonna, whoops, let it catch up. Click the ungroup button up here. And then that's just gonna undo every letter that I have. So I don't wanna mess these up. So I'm gonna um, select all these and I'm gonna attach it right away. That way I won't screw up uh, how these are in line with each other. So I'm just gonna take it, push my up arrow a few times and it's gonna bring it up to about where I want it to be. So again, it's not select, not attached to each other. So if I move this, the three would be different than the shot. So I'm gonna select it again, go to attach, make it a little bit smaller and then move it over to where I want it. You can put it anywhere you want. It doesn't have to be there. Whoops the wrong piece you can put it anywhere you want so this one I'm going to put here but then you just got to work with the size of it so I like how that looks so I'm just going to continue doing the same thing I'm going to go into the text I'm going to write the next one I'm going to do take a shot Oops. and this already has the aerial bold or sorry, the Arial Black, so I don't have to change it. I like to keep all of my fonts the same. But again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna center it, so I'm gonna click Alignment, I'm gonna click Center, and I don't like how far these are from each other, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go up to Ungroup. I'm gonna go ahead and select this first part and attach it, and then also do that with this one. Just because if I don't, each letter will be individual. So I'm just gonna take the Take Word, select it, Take my down arrow, push it a few times. And then this one, take up a few times just with the arrow. And take a look at it, see where you like it. I think that looks a little better. Again, I like to center it again after I just messed up, but messed with it a little bit. So I'm gonna go to align and then center and then set on, center everything for me. So there you go, that's easy. So you can change the color if you want with these, you can change the style or the font, uh, font that you want, but it's just as easy as that. So it's how I did it with all these, you can change the wording to however you want it. You can change these to be different colors, like if you want this one black, or if you want that one blue. One thing I did notice, luckily, that I clicked on this, I'm gonna move this for a minute. This I did not attach yet, so as you saw, it moves because I did not attach it. So I'm gonna do it one more time and align it and then I'm gonna go down to attach because you don't want that to happen because if you go to cut this out right now and you didn't do that, it would cut out take separately, A separately, and shot. So you'd have to line those up yourself. So one thing you gotta be careful for. So I'm just gonna move this over and I'm just gonna finish this one up. So I'm gonna just grab these and try to make them centered. Make this guy a little bit smaller. I mean, it's a little bit of work but again, you make it any way that you want. So I'm gonna finish this up. I, I will am finished with this third one here. Um, one thing I did notice afterwards is it's okay. It, it, anything handmade is never gonna be perfect. So this one image that I chose has this little weird um, angle, I guess, on the side here. I'm not too worried about it, but I am finished with this. This is your chance to change the colors if you want. Like if you wanted to have um, your numbers a different color, like your two shots, three shots, whatever, you can change the color or you can leave it all as one. I'm going to leave it all as one color and then just color it, change it to maybe a blue or a dark blue or a yellow. So I'm gonna change each one of these to be a different color. But one last thing you wanna do before you cut out is you wanna select your whole thing that you did and then attach it. Again, if you don't do that, it will cut out separately. So your box will cut out separately and all the words that you have. Sorry, my computer's kind of slow, but I'm still here. Um, so you want to attach everything so all your words are, so it looks exactly like it is now. So the one last part you want to do is just change the size while you have it selected. And I bought my trivets or cutting board, my glass cutting board, whatever you want to call it, at the dollar store. So mine are 7.75 by 7.75. I'm going to make mine a little bit smaller, so I'm going to do maybe 7.5 by 7.5. So with it selected, I go up to the unlock box, and then I'm just going to change it here. So I'm just going to do, I maybe do 6.0 or 7.60 and see how that looks. And um, here's where you can change anything if you want. I tried to get everything the same size. 
So I like how it looks and I like the size that I have on here. So I'm going to change these two really quickly. These two are already attached to each other. I'm just going to change the size again, go up to the unlock box, change it. You just want to make sure that you do not go over the size of your cutting board. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm just going a little bit under. Again, it's 7.75, so I have a little bit of wiggle room in between this. And then I'm just going to finish up with my last one here and change the size on it. And then I think I'm just going to change the color of each one of them where I have one black one, one blue one, and maybe one teal color. I'm trying to think what people would like. I'm going to be selling these at our local store that I have a lot selling at. I already made one of these and I forgot to make a video tutorial on it. I didn't think it was going to sell, to be honest with you, because of the supplies that I have bought and put into it and the time that I have put into it. I had a rather higher price tag on it of $25. Honestly, guys, I didn't think it was going to sell. And the lady emailed me and said, you know that board that you didn't think was going to sell? Well, it did. So after she takes her commission and after the time and um, supplies that I put into it, I still made about $18. So within a couple of minutes of creating this, it's a lot worth my time. I buy the um, shot glasses from the dollar store, but I noticed lately they didn't have them at the dollar store. I'm gonna finish this up quick, but they didn't have any at the dollar store. So the other thing that you can do is order them on Amazon. And that's actually where I bought my first um, box of them from. So I will show you those when I get to that point and I'll show you my trivet that I'm using and everything. But everything can be purchased at the dollar store, the trivet or the cutting board and the shot glasses. All right guys, so before you go out and cut this, if you wanna change the color, now you would change the color. But one thing that you need to do is cut out your X's and O's for your shot glasses. So I'm gonna make six of each. So I'm gonna make six X's. But before I do, I'm gonna change the size of this. So I know I'm gonna want that to be a one by one. So I'm gonna go up to the unlock box up here and change that to one by one. And then I know I'm gonna want six of those, but before I go ahead and do that, I'm gonna to go to the text box and write an O and change the size of these guys really quick to one by one. So now I have my X and all, right? So the next thing you want to do is duplicate it five times. You have six of each. I am selected it. I'm going to go up to my duplicate button and hit that five times. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So there we go. So we've got to make sure that you cut out six for each piece. So I have three that I'm cutting out here. So I'm going to take the bottom two and make a duplicate. So to do that the easy way, I have this one selected. I'm pushing the command button and I'm, I'm pushing my mouse button on this one. So I made, so I have just these two selected. So I'm gonna hit duplicate, just makes it a lot easier. Take this one over here and then again, duplicate it five more times so that I have six over here as well. One more. And then also just the same thing, I already have it duplicated. So I'm gonna hit it one more time and bring that last one over here and then just do five more again. All right, so this is really um, a lot quicker than what it, how I'm showing you because I'm showing you how to do it, but once you get it, this will be so easy to do. So another thing I wanna do is just change the color of this. All right, you guys, I don't know if you can hear it. My cat just jumped up on the table and he is purring really loud, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. So the last thing you want to do is change the color of this. So I'm going to select all these X and, and O's down here. And I don't want to get all this. So you want to be careful with that. So I'm just going to select just these guys. And I'm going to change the color. And I'm going to do this lighter blue. It's going to be a teal color, but this is what it's going to look like on here. So I'm just going to select my board piece. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go up to the black box up here and then change it to this blue. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other two. And then I'm ready to print out and show you the next step. So I'm just going to finish with these, change these two colors. I will cut this out on my mat. I will weed it out. And then I will show you the next step of how to put them on your cutting board. 
We are almost there, guys. All right, guys, so I am finished weeding, and I just did this one really quick to show you what it looks like. I did my little shot glasses. I think they turned out so dang cute. Um, so one thing I forgot to mention with this is I did my SVG file. Here's the one I weeded, uh, mirrored. I did it backwards. I did that because when I put this on here, I don't want the vinyl to be on top where the little glasses are going to scratch it and take the vinyl off. So I'm just going to flip it over and put it on the back side. You can tell it's the back side because it has these little feet here on the back. So please make sure that you mirror this if you want it to be on the back side, which again, this one is. Um, you can see this is the vinyl on the back and it is um, mirrored. So that's how I did it. So if you wanna do it that way, please mirror your image. So I just have a trivet or a cutting board from the dollar store. I'm gonna take some alcohol and clean it really well, the front and the back, get all the little dirt and particles and stuff off of it so it's nice and clean for my vinyl to adhere to it. And then I just wanted to show you really quick where I purchased my shot glasses. So this came from Amazon. I love their packaging. I think it was really well put together but they just have these. The only thing I don't like is you have to go and peel each one of these stickers off, which is a pain in the butt. But um, I tried looking at Dollar Tree and they didn't have any online or in any stores that I was to. So I went and purchased these off of Amazon. I will leave the link below to these if you're interested in these, or like I said, you can find them at the Dollar Tree. I just wasn't having any luck. So um, again, with these, you wanna wash these with your alcohol as well before you put your X's and O's on it. So just wanted to show you what it looked like in the packaging. I thought that came out pretty cool how they sent it to you. So the next part you wanna do is take your vinyl. I love this vinyl. The only problem with this vinyl that I have ever seen or had a problem with is it doesn't have lines on it, but it's a lot cheaper than any other vinyl that I had purchased. I was buying a lot from the dollar store and just buying the cheap liners. Um, but it wasn't as sticky, so I changed to this kind. So I'll leave the link below in case you're interested in this. It really wasn't that expensive, so I'm just gonna take it and lay it down on my file. And then I'll just take my scissors, just cut off the excess. And then I'm just gonna leave this a little flat because I like reusing my stuff. So I'm gonna just take my scraper, Scrape it on really well. Okay, so after you have your transfer tape on your vinyl, I just put that away. And like I said, I need to clean this, so I'm just gonna take some alcohol. Again, I think, well this one came from Walmart, but I think they sell them at the dollar store as well. So then I'm just gonna take my paper towel and then just clean it really well. Again, the back side of it, which I just noticed that these two do not have the bottom pieces. So I'm gonna see if I can pull this off. That's not so good, but can I have only two, can I? So I'm just gonna scrape that and clean it really well. You wanna make sure you get all the blemishes or sticky parts or whatever you might have on your cutting board because your vinyl will not adhere to it. So just give it a good wash and let it dry. And while it's drying, you can go ahead and clean your shot glasses if you want which I said, you gotta give it a really good clean before you put your X's and O's on them. So you wanna make sure that they can stick to it really well. So I'm gonna let this just sit for a second. <laughs> gonna dry it off. Seems pretty good to me. Oops, I saw another spot on here. All right, so you wanna make sure it's really clean. So I'm going to use still the back side because I can see that this side has a little bit of a texture to it. So I'm going to use the back side as well yet, just because it's nice and smooth. So I'm going to take my transfer tape and I'm going to peel off my vinyl. That came off nicely. And then just take my plate and kind of, before you lay it down, you just want to make sure that everything is centered and where you want it. Because once you have it down, it is stuck there. So just take your time on this part, line it up really well, and put it down. There, and then take your squeegee. I call it a squeegee, I don't know what you guys call it. <laughs> Leave it below if you know what these things are called. I just call it a squeegee. You can use a credit card if you have one. Let's see, here's my little dot. 
but I just use it and push on it really hard, making sure that there's no bubbles and making sure that it's gonna stick to the glass behind it. So once you think you've got it down, just go ahead and peel it back slow, making sure you don't get any pieces up. I guess I really do love this transfer tape. It is so much better. It's it's more it's stickier than the dollar store stuff, and it's cheaper than the Cricut brand. So I recommend this if you're looking for anything new. And it wasn't too badly expensive. One other downfall now that I'm thinking about it is it does not have a back to this, so there's nowhere you can stick it. So I just stick it on things that I already have laying around because I like to reuse it if it doesn't have any hair on it or anything on it. So I just flip it over and leave it there. So there, that part is finished. That was so simple, right? So the next part is doing your shot glasses. Like I said, you wanna make sure that your glasses are clean of debris or anything that might be on it. So you just wanna give it a good wash. Let it dry for a second. I'm just gonna set it there. Take one of my X's or O's, whatever you have. You can use your transfer tape, but for this, I really don't see a point to it. And then just put it on as best as you can in the middle. So there's an X. I'll take another one. Get these little stickers off. And that's also another good reason why you use your alcohol before, is to get all the sticky stuff off. I don't know if this shows up on camera, but there's a, some glue there. And you don't wanna see that or put it on top of it. So this alcohol does a really good job cleaning that. And there was another spot over here from the sticker. I just want to make sure you get it off really well. So there. So I'm going to put it down again. Do one of my O's. Again, if you're more comfortable using transfer tape for this, you most certainly can. There's just one little piece, so it should go on really easy. So there are the X's. Here are the O's. And here is the finished plate. I'm going to put it down. Maybe you can see it better. Uh, the finished plate. So I love how these turned out. There are two of them here. I still have one more to go. I really hope that you like this tutorial. Um, one thing that I did notice now is, I don't know if maybe Dollar Tree, they don't have the same exact sizes of trivets or cutting boards because these are the same exact files and sizes. But this one's going over a lot more. And same for the bottom. And in this one you can see there's just the same amount on each side. So I don't know. So be careful when you're doing your sizes. Um, I love how this turned out. I hope you did. I'm gonna leave a final shot of how it looks. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and ask any questions below. So here is how they turned out. I absolutely love them and cannot wait to make more. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and I hope you create your own fun drunken tic-tac-toe game. But remember to play responsibly. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and give me a big thumbs up if you love this video. If you have any questions, please leave them below or if you'd like to leave a comment, I would love to read it. Happy crafting everybody!